Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. And today I'm playing turn-based 4X space strategy game Galactic Inheritors. It's a single-player only game. There aren't really that many options to choose from. There's only five races in the game, and you always have to play against five opponents. Uh, let's see who we're going to pick here. Uh, no. No. Maybe. Eh, we'll do the Ribitars, why not? So we'll select them. You select the map size. I'm going to do small, so you get more action. Select the map type, standard. Select difficulty, medium, and that's it. Those are your only options, so uh, we'll start our game. Here we are in the galaxy. First thing you'll notice is the interface. Um, I don't like it too much. Uh, all these displays, like here's your planet display, takes up the entire screen. Uh, it's not, it doesn't seem to be really designed for high resolution dis uh, displays very much. Um, and I'll comment more on that while we play. Uh, like most 4X games, what you want to do is explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. Uh, and the game actually does offer a couple of interesting little wrinkles to the typical 4X formula um, that make it stand out. So first off, you're given one exploration ship, uh, which is what I'm going to use first. Now, interestingly, you actually see where the opponents start the match, which kind of helps you figure out which way you want to expand. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this guy and actually go here. Uh, the way the movement goes, it's jump gate only, so you can only go to the systems where there's lines connecting, and every jump takes one turn, no matter what the ship is or anything like that. Uh, so you keep that in mind while you're doing it. You can see the interface down here has a little exclamation points when there's uh, something that needs to be done there. So we'll click on the research. Research tree, it's the same every time, very linear. Um, what I'm going to do is what? Probably do research first. So there's basically three kind of currencies, I guess, in the game. There's commerce production and research. Your research goes towards research. Here you get total research points. Your commerce is actually used to purchase ships and your ships are done uh, through private businesses which is an interesting way of doing it. What you do is you have your net commerce and you use that net commerce to uh, build ships. Now, For example if I were to do this ship here and you'll notice my net commerce is negative. What that does is take points away from your research. So you have to kind of balance um, you know, your commerce versus your research there. If you have extra commerce left over, it goes towards these empire bonuses, um, which give you small little bonuses in a bunch of different areas, ship build times, damage, colony construction costs, which is actually probably the first one I'm going to do here. Um, and I don't really need ships yet um, because... Uh, things grow very slowly in diplomacy. Uh, if you click on anybody, and uh, who am I going to run into first? Probably green or blue. Uh, so if you click on them, and I can't even do anything yet, what you do is you actually do uh, media things, either positive or negative things, and once the negative becomes big enough, then you declare war on them. Uh, there's no treaties in the game, there's no alliances, so you're eventually going to be at war with everybody. So really having positive... Uh, media effects really just delays war um, until you're ready with enough ships. Now what you can do in the beginning is you can do an internal media program uh, and I'm going to do an exploration boost here which will um, boost exploration. Uh, and then finally here it shows your solar system. I do have my one system here and don't have anything built or building. Uh, on your basic uh, system uh, you can build an exploration ship, a colonization ship, or any of the improvements which improve your commerce, production, or research cap. Now these actual d numbers grow naturally over time as your system grows. But what you can do is uh, extend the limit. Uh, you don't actually extend uh, you know, the rating. So like if I were to build uh, this industrial space thing, it'll increase my production cap to five, although it would not change that I only have three production at the current moment. Uh, so I'm going to do a colonization ship and then an exploration ship. Because uh, one thing about this game, there's absolutely no reason to uh, colonize every single system. 
Um, now, different systems will have different ratings to start out with for their commerce, production, and research and different local resources, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, but everything will get colonized. There's no, like, inhospitable systems or anything like that. Uh, now, these local resources will uh, both increase your cap and actually boost your, uh, your rating. This one has one for commerce, another for commerce, another for production. So that's pretty handy, actually. That's a really good system. Now, how do you claim these resources? You actually use your exploration ships after you're done exploring, which I think is a really neat use for them. Because, you know, after you're done exploring your exploration ships, you usually just sell them for scrap. Here you actually use them to uh, boost your systems, which is really kind of neat. Uh, and gives you a reason to build exploration ships even after you've done exploring all the systems. Uh, and that's basically it. So we're going to run through a bunch of turns here. It is turn-based. Uh, the game is very slow-paced. Uh, as you'll see, it's going to take a really long time to declare war on anybody. And I don't even think we're going to be able to uh, get there long enough. Exploring is a two-step process. You explore first, and that will give you the basic lowdown of commerce, production, and research potential. And then exploring again will unveil the local resources that are available in that system. Uh, it gives you messages. I just ignore the messages. Like I said, it takes up the entire screen. It's really annoying. And in the beginning, I'm just going to keep ending turn and exploring all this stuff here. So we'll explore the resources and end the turn. All right, so we're good there. So that's a really good system, 441 with two resources. That'll be a primary target when I start expanding here. Uh, as soon as my colony ship finishes. Alright, so... Set him to explore, and then turn. There we go. I'm not going to go any further south because... That's going to be blue and green territory. So I'm going to go straight up here to that system which will take two turns to get there up got some points for empire management so i'm going to change my colony ship cost to make it build faster it'll be done in three turns and i'm definitely going to get that uh captain system Uh, yep, this is the exploration ship. Let's explore. Those little management screens do become handy when you have a very large empire on a large map. Um, oh, there's my colonization ship. So I'm going to have him explore resources, and this guy's head straight here. Uh, looks like nobody else is colonizing yet, so I might have a leg up in that. Now, all your commerce adds to and your research adds together across all your systems. So, like I said, there's really no reason to not colonize every single system you come across. Uh, he's already done that. All right, well, we're just going to go up and around here. So this guy has an exploration ship for 12 turns, which is pretty crappy. Oh, yeah, my exp that ended. That's why. Uh, what do I want to do? None of those. I guess research boost. Yeah. I don't even need ships yet. Like I said, you can tell from a mile away when war is going to be declared. Uh, they're just exploring all that stuff, aren't they? So there's really no reason to do it. 441, excellent. Now I may, yeah, especially because it's 25 turns. We'll do research first, because we'll bump that up to two. These guys aren't even close to being maxed out, so there's no reason to do anything but ships there. Explore loots. Oh good, I can make a circle turn here. Go, go to Pollux. Like I said, it takes a lot of turns for stuff to happen in this game. So th there's no surprises about war. You can tell what's happening with your, you know, with your relations 
30 turns before anything actually happens. Do do do. Oh, research is done, so that's good. We're going to do that. We'll go right there. <sighs> How many more turns? Three more turns for another exploration ship. I'm actually considering... Well, see, I don't really need commerce yet. I really need is production. Right now. Uh, let's see, how much is this? 50? Okay, I'm good then. We'll do that right there. Now, when you build through the same manufacturers, you will actually get upgrades in this little upgrade tree, which, you know, will improve your ships from that manufacturer. So, it pays to kind of use the same guy over again, although you can only build one ship at a time. Uh, so when you really have your economy cranking... Okay, you're good on your other research, too. Yeah, that's a lot of turns. So what do I want to do here? Let's do a colonization ship. I'm going to need to colonize like nobody's business. Alright, that's what I expected there. Gross. Oh, yeah. Don't click on messages. Yeah, right, there's exploration ship goes there, and then I have my other exploration ship, which I'm seriously considering immediately putting him there. Yes, boost production. So I really only need one guy who's exploring. All right, colonization. Oh, and then I need to start leveling up here. This guy's growing. Is that the... I hope that's not the end. Well, actually, that might not be so bad. But that's the only, the last system that connects to. Alright, that's done. Let's do Commerce Boost. Okay, I was about to say, that's going to be a key system. Hopefully we can get over there. Well, there's not going to be anybody really competing up here. This is going to be my... I think I'm going to have to kind of hold... I'm not even going to worry about this system. It's not that great. And then I'm going to kind of back colonize. Exploration ship. Alright, which way do we want to go? Oh, we're done. That's it. We are out of range. So I'm going to hold you. Here's my arm ship. I'm going to put you down here. And we'll order another ship. We have enough commerce for it. I'm just going to start pumping out the ships, I think. Yeah, I'm actually a ship behind because I consumed mine. Alright, so let's do that right there. Alright, you're gonna hold. Now I'm just waiting for that. Alright, where are we going? What's good? Well, I guess it has to be that, doesn't it? Ugh, that's a crappy system too. Because that's gonna unlock everything else. Alright, what do we want to do here? Another colonization ship and then we'll think about boosting something else. Yeah, Gross. But that's going to unlock all these systems, so it's not too bad. It's just going to be a bad system. Unfortunately. Alright, what are you going to build? Well, let's do research first. Can you move now? Yes, you can. More colony ships. Yep, got this guy going. 
Now each time I add a ship, it does bring down my commerce rating because there's a maintenance cost. But if I keep colonizing stuff, it'll balance it out. So we're going to keep spamming ships. Mm. Well, I'm assuming... Oh, what do I want? Let's, yeah, let's see, that's too much. Let's do the colonization. More colonization, please. All right. I'm gonna organize this. Keep it there. All right, where do we want to go? What's good? 412. Yeah, I like that. I think we're going to Pollux. Yes, we are. Now, the rest of them are going to get, <laughs> they're going to get colonized, just not yet. Like I said, there's a little bit of strategy in which ones you want to do. The better starting stats it has, the less time you have to worry about. Nope, you can't go even, can't even go there. Let's go there then. Less time you have to spend doing the buildings, and the more time you can spend building colony ships and exploration ships. All right, you're really good, actually. I don't even need those buildings yet. Let's do colony ship. Why not? Why not? I say. All right, so we got this colony ship. Uh, can I go there? I could. The use are a terrible system. I should probably go back there. Yeah, that's done too. Well, let's do our research boost. Yeah, blue. I'm up on. I'm up against blue. Okay. All right, colonize, please. Research is done, so we'll just do space militarization. Build some bigger ships. We colonize that Papa too. Boom. Oh, who's holding? Ah, oh, my fleet. Okay, never mind. Uh, I already mapped that. I can't go here for some odd reason, so I guess we'll go back up. Lots of colony ships. Alright, I'm gonna build commerce first because that's two. That's not great. And you're maxed out, so you need to start building stuff too. Let's do production and then commerce. And then we'll see where you're at. All right, you go down there. I always forget, and I wish they would put a little exclamation point for this, but when I'm done building ships, and then I always forget that I can queue up more ships, is the problem. Oop, I can level you up. Uh, hit points, fire, invisibility, oh, it doesn't really matter. I can order another ship though. Bloop. Still have 14 commas. I think I'm still doing that. See, so sometimes these are vague. I wish there was a tooltip saying, what is this? Can I do stuff with you? Yes, I can. I don't want to go to war with you yet. Let's do greed minus 10. Not yet anyway, I will eventually, once I get all my stuff colonized. Ugh, one production, that's gross. Alright, well, let's boost that a bit. 
Uh, well, I guess we're going this way. Probably gonna have to go to this system next. Are you guys still building colony ships? Research done. Let's do that. Production, production. Build me ships. Uh, well, that's the end of that, isn't it? I think I'm going to hold it. And I can dominate this system up there, too. And this down here. I bet you that's the end of the road. I'm actually in a really good position. Because this is kind of... These guys are really kind of screwed back down there. I got a really good... Really good setup. Now I'm just spending turns waiting for ships to build. Yep, there we go. Alright, well, I guess I'm going here, aren't I? Yep, kind of got to... Alright. Let's do, let's do, let's do an exploration, actually. Start getting some of these resources out. Same thing. Takes so long to build stuff. I feel bad about kind of wasting colonization opportunities this early in the game, but. Since I don't have any competition up in this part of this region, I don't really care that much about it. Oh, I got another colony ship anyway. Well, I'm going to move you here, and then we'll see what we can do with you. This is not growing at all, is it? Yeah. I told you where to go. Guess I forgot. What are you? You're the colonization ship, all right? Is this going to be a bad system? Yeah, but I got stuff. Okay, you're all filled. Alright, let's do production. Right? Production, commerce, research. Oh no, you have. Okay, yeah, production, commerce, research. Okay, we're good there. Sort of. Boo. Boo random events. Alright, let's do commerce plus one. Uh, let's do research. Alright, there's a colonization ship. I can send them. I'd send them up here. Yeah, I'll do that. You I can send now too. Beetlejuice. Don't say it three times. Oh. I was sending that guy the wrong way. I was wondering what was going on here. Go back. Colonize. 
that means it's about to end. Or it did end. Uh, let's turn down some greed, shall we? There we go. Yeah, we need more. More, more, more. This I don't really need. Let's do that. So many systems I can colonize. Yep, they grabbed that one. Yes. I don't want to go with war with you yet. I will wait. Okay. Well, we need more production. Ooh, look. Boost production. Isn't that special? Well, it's less turns to just build an exploration ship, isn't it? than it is to build the improvement. It is, so we will do it that way. It usually is. So it's usually just a better idea just to build the exploration ship and then just absorb it right there at that system, which is actually what I'm going to consider doing here in a second. I have like five of them going, though. So I actually kind of am doing that. Let's go there. And... You guys need to hold. Colonization time. Alright, exploration ship. Do that. Uh, why don't we exploit your resource? I don't really need commerce, though. What do you have? Production and research. No, I like that better. Yeah, I got frigates now. Actually, kind of don't even want them. Exploration ship says that you exploit. What did you do? Oh, it clicked on the thing. Yeah, boost production, please. Uh, boost. Yeah, research. I don't really need. Yet. That's boost production, though. Yeah, we'll do this one. Pollux. Colonize. You. Uh, that. And that. That one's shorter than building a ship. Yeah, media failure. Boost production. This is a small galaxy. Oh, good. Oh, a lot of stuff going on now. Oh, good. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, faster system growth. That'll help me out. 
What do I want you to do? Two turns, heck yeah. Super quick. Another exploration ship. Boost research? Why not? Alright, let's go for that. Doing all non military stuff. Oh, there's the red guy. Oh, you're way the heck up there. I, mean, I guess he went up that way. Uh, let's go there. Ooh, frigate. Yeah, go over there. Which means I can order another one. I should probably order two at a time. Yeah. Good, good. Let's just keep building ships. Oh, there's a colonization ship. Whoop. Alright, where do I want to send you? That's an excellent question. There, probably? Yeah. That's where I want to send you. Problem is, there's so many systems to colonize. I just feel bad not pumping out colony ships all the time. Alright, what we got here? Yeah, research and production. Perfect. Quick times. We got this colonization ship too. Alright, where are we going? Uh, 332. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, I could use more research if it's cheap, which it kind of is, and then we'll see. Alright, that is done. Oh, uh, what's bad? They have less ships and they have less solar systems. I'm sorry, you suck. I really am. There's not really much I can do about that fear and hate. Already negative. And that one's ready to go. Bloop. Oh, they're coming in there too, huh? You're all maxed out. So, Exploration's 9. What does this do? See, this is why I don't like this pop-up, because you got to close that before you can do that. Boost research. Eh. Alright. Starting to pick up. Yeah, grab that juicy system. One four four, huh? Well, let's boost that commerce. Frigates goes. Well, let's send them over here, actually. Just in case. We'll make this my next base. This guy's gonna take all these systems, so. 
But I got this one. I like it. No reason to boost any of that yet. Maybe commerce, but I'd rather do an exploration ship. Now this is maxed out, but it has a lot of stuff. Uh, but this could be much bigger. That'll be faster. Uh, let's on. You do this. You do that. Always production. Get there. I don't know where we're getting, but we're getting there. Exploration's 13. Well, that's four. I won't probably do one of these. Now we're picking up some exploration stuff, aren't we? Commerce, commerce? Sure. Oh yeah, I can build ships, can't I? That commerce zero. Exploit production. I really like how they transform the exploration ships into that. I think that's a really neat use for them. Indeed it does. Well. Let's do that and then that. Okay. It's going to be base of operations number two, and I'll probably have to do a third one to hold off purple over there. So now I'm going to start colonizing up that system. Then I'll probably go back and do this at some point. It's not even really worth it, though, to be honest. It's almost not worth the turns it takes to build it. Not yet, anyway. Not until it grows. Research done. Uh, let's do bombers. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, they're sending some ships up now, aren't they? I don't know if we're going to get to combat. Combat's just automated. Uh, now, when you invade other systems, it actually destroys it, and you have to recolonize it, which is kind of weird. Instead of just taking it over. 13. Yeah. What's in this system? Research. Nothing I really want to build here. Let's just do this. This is my big deal system. It's all its local resources are all maxed out though. Let's do a colonization ship. And then we'll do that. Actually. And then we'll do that. And then we'll do that. You're good there. We'll do colonization. Five and five, 
Getting to the point where I'm almost don't need all these colonization ships when I have three in the queue. Yeah, I still have so many systems up there I can take. We'll see how many I can grab before purple grabs them, and then, and then, and then we're gonna start pumping out exploration ships so we can just claim all of the resources, and then we'll start doing improvements after that, and then we'll be really good. All right, uh, let's go up there. Well, can't really go to that other one anyway, so. Okay, do have a colonization ship, so... Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what we can do. Okay, frigate goes there. Frigate goes there. Actually, I might... Do a new fleet here. Send some of these guys down. Fleet 111. You guys go there. Oh yeah, see, and I forgot to queue up more ships. Oopsies. Yep, see, red and green are not helping each other out. I do think I want to go after blue, though. I think I'm going to start switching to... Remove. You're full. You got a resource, too. Research. Yeah, might as well. Got another exploration. What's research? Well, no, it doesn't matter. Everything's gonna get maxed out anyway. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Research or research? Mm, research. Okay, well, I'm done exploring, aren't I? Is this a colony ship? It is. He's gonna start getting all these systems. Alright, well, where do I want to send you? Send you over here. And I'll use you up. Ooh, colony ship, alright. Well, I already got one going to Beetlejuice, so... It's either gonna be 133... That one, we'll do that one. If I can get there before they do. I'm gonna try to at least get some combat in. But we'll see, combat's not really that exciting anyway. And it is very forced on you, because there's no alliances, no treaties. It'll just go. Get smurge. Research is done. Let's do this. Since I'm getting ready to go to war, we'll do some more stuff. We build some more ships. Uh, yeah, we'll do a bomber. And a frigate. Minus 18, but that's okay. I don't really care about research anyway. That's why improving the research isn't such a bad deal, because you can use that excess research for your ship construction commerce stuff. All right, three, three, two. What are we doing? 
Probably all three, to be honest. Research, production, commerce. Okay, this is my BA system. Colonization ship. Uh, I do have one going there, I do believe. Actually, I think this one will beat him there. Where's my other one? Yeah, he's way the heck back there. Uh, where do I want to go? Altair is kind of bad. That one's really good, though. Let's see that. Nope. I'm a worried about this purple guy kind of going in here. Okay, that is done, so we're going to start pissing him off some more. Uh huh, we need more commerce. Is it cheap? Not particularly. What is this? This research. Alright. Where are you at? Oh yeah, that's right, I sent you there. I got another one. Alright, now I need to start keeping an eye on... Uh, how many systems are left. So I already got two. I mean, that's basically it. I'll send him here. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna need. So I need to stop doing colonization after this go. Make sure I don't have it queued up anywhere. Ugh, it's gonna be tedious. That I know I don't. Because I know there was one system that I did a queued it up. But I don't know where that is. Now I'm going to start spamming exploration ships is what is going to happen here. Maybe I did it. Ought to be the last one that I did. Haha, -ha, I knew it. Yeah. Oh, get out of my system, sucker. Alright, so now we're going to do whichever's cheaper. Exploration or improvements. Thirteen. Oh, that's already improved though, so let's do... Well. Still need them other places though. I mean, these are going to be cheaper for the most part, All right? Production, commerce research. That system's gonna be, yeah, this system is pretty awesome. It's gonna be really good. All right, there's this guy. I don't even know where I'm sending these guys anymore. Let's go there. Exploration ship, doesn't matter. We'll just move it quick. Like I said, everything's going to get taken over anyway. Got you. Alright, what do we want to do? Let's do production commerce. Colonization ship, colonize, exploration ship, exploit, exploration ship, exploit, production first. Uh, 
And then eventually I'll have to keep track of how many resources I have left to exploit and then make sure I don't queue up too many of those. And then I'm going to just do uh, buildings. But I'm not quite at that point yet. 8.25, let me think. Research, production, commerce. Colonization, go. Colonization. Shoot. Altair, I guess. I already got one going there, though. I'm done, though. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Yep. This one I'll keep kind of in... Well, actually, what I should do... Yeah, you're there. You're going to Altair anyway. You're colonizing that. So you actually go here. I'm going to send most of my ships down here. Because, like I said, I'll be able to tell, like, these guys are all positives that they like me. Because I'm going to go after the humans first. So I just need to have enough ships to take them out, which should not be a, an issue at all. Medium size holes, please, because I'm about to kick some butt. Man, I need to keep remembering to build ships. Nice for that. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about that system too. Let's do... I always do production comments for research. Gosh, look at that production. That's crazy. Exploration, exploit, commerce, exploration, uh, go with the Pollux. Bomber, and the other guy. Oh yeah, and do actually order ships. Uh, sure. Well, since that's bombardment, then we're definitely going to do bombers up here. And we'll do destroy down here. That, yep, that maxes out the thing. So you see with your little upgrade, you can kind of specialize the systems. Which systems build what. Oh, the red guys don't like me. Well, that's interesting. Why? They have less ships. What are what's the ship count? I have 15. Oh yeah, I'm kicking their ass. <sighs> Not surprisingly, because I have so many systems, it's basically unopposed. My commerce is so high, I can just pump out ships all the time, and still have 462 research, which is ridiculous. All right, colonize, please. Exploit that research. Boop, 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 boop. Well, commerce, research, production. Alright, so we actually do, I actually do have one system left I can do. So I think I'm actually going to send him there. Is that a colonization? No, it's just exploration. 
So we'll send him there, we'll get that last system, and then we'll be done with colonization. Why do you not like me, Red? <laughs> There's so many, like, good things with this. Undoing all the good that I did. See if he tries to get that system in here. I don't think he can, to be honest. Alright, a bunch of stuff just finished. Oh yeah, well, one. Shoot, why not? One turn. Eight turns. Sure. The t icons are so tiny, it's hard to see what you're doing. This is, that guy's doing that. Let's just go there. Use research. Problem is, I'm not really boosting those systems anymore. I'm gonna have to do, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to do building upgrades here in a second once I start running out of things to do. Yep, I'm starting to run out actually. It takes a really long time to declare where I don't think I'm going to make it. All it does is it just does automated battles between the two. It's really just the means to an end. You know, to kind of see... Let's see, he did claim it, jerk. Yeah, just hold there, then. Alright, well, everything's colonized. Except for a couple stars way the heck out there I don't even care about. There you go, that's the system. It looks like me and Red are kind of the two that are going to have to go at each other. Uh, in an interest of time, I think I'm just going to stop here. Um, like I said, there's a couple interesting things in Galactic Inheritors. Uh, the interface I'm not a big fan of because of the uh, full screen displays and you have to X out of this in order to see the tool tips and stuff like that. And it just doesn't really look that good. Um, but once you get past that, you'll find a couple uh, interesting things in it. I like how the uh, military ships are actually privately produced. Uh, and then you can get upgrades from your favorite manufacturers, uh, which is interesting. Research tree, very basic. Nothing interesting there. It's the same every game you play. No randomization. Uh, the messaging system is basically useless because, again, it takes up the whole screen. Uh, you know, the fleet overview, again, I wish it was smaller. Uh, but uh, it is pretty useful in uh, finding out which ships are idle. You know, doing each of the uh, systems themselves. I like how it's, you know, we increase the limit of commerce production and research, but not actually the value, unless you use your exploration ships uh, to get the local resources, which honestly is probably my favorite thing in the game. I like that it gives you a use for those exploration ships that in every other game are completely useless once you're done exploring everything. Um, for diplomacy, you know, it's interesting the way that the media system works. Uh, you know, boosting or decreasing hate, greed, and fear, which do have some automation based on the number of ships uh, and stuff like that. You know, they're, they fear me because I have way more ships than they do, as they should, to be quite honest about it. Um, you know, the fact that there aren't any um, treaties or alliances kind of takes away from it. You know, it's it's all war all the time at the end of the game. 
Uh, it's also weird that you have to, uh, you know, you basically eliminate an entire planet and then colonize it again. It's kind of strange instead of just taking it over. You know, everybody dies apparently uh, during war. Not very realistic there. So, uh, despite appearances, you know, there's a couple interesting things in here. They don't really gel together to make a very intriguing game like, say, Endless Legend. Uh, which has a lot of interesting ideas that do come together really well. Um, but, you know, if you're hankering for another 4X space strategy game, I'd say Galactic Civilizations 3 kind of has a more well-rounded package. But this is more of an indie approach to it, uh, which, like I said, does have a couple of interesting features in it. So, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.